Hey guys, welcome to Sam Cole's workshop. So here, first video we're doing here is uh, we're going to be putting together a pressure washing gun. Okay, setting this thing up. This is actually part of my uh, new soap cannon. Part of what I do for a living is I actually, um, I, I have a pressure washing company that I, I work for part time. Uh, I own it and uh, I do it part time. I got a few things I do. I, I have a pressure washing company that I do two or three days a week. I have a photography company that I've owned for 20 something years that I have other people shoot for and I shoot for that occasionally, you know, on the weekends. Uh, I also have a, I do have another YouTube channel, the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast that I've been doing for 10 years. And this channel, I just decided to start for some of this everyday kind of thing. So this is the first video we're going to be doing with that sort of stuff, which is going to be how to assemble or set up one of these guns. So we have it, like I said, this is my new cannon. Only thing we're going to need to put this together, a couple adjustable wrenches, they just make life easy. And we have our fittings here, which are going to be our fittings that we're going to use to assemble this. Now there's a couple different ways you could do it. And uh, we will cover that. We've got another one right there. And Teflon tape, which they happen to give me in this kit. Although I have tons of this stuff in the trailer, I use it all the time. Uh, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this gun up. We're going to put it for a quarter inch on here. Now we're going to tape these up, but we're going to have that set there. And then we want to have the 3 8 one set here to be able to plug into our uh, pressure washer hose. So that's set up there. Okay, this again is going to be set up strictly for my soap cannon and for washing cars. This will be the short gun for that. So I'm not using a lance on there or anything like that. But for those, we're just going to Teflon tape these. But a lot of people do Teflon tape wrong when they're doing it. Okay, the trick with Teflon tape is five to eight, you know four to eight wraps, but you have to do it so that when you're screwing this in, you're tightening the tape as well too. So you want to have the tape go the same way. Best way to do that is to put it on here and actually twist it on to the tape the same way you would tighten it into a spot. Don't go reverse, okay? You want to go the same exact way as you're seeing here. I'll do a close up of the other one for you too, but see you're just taping it on. Go around it four or five, six, eight times, something like that. I usually do about four to six, like that. And then just break it off and smash it down so it's nice and down like that. And that's it. Then we're going to take that. We're going to take our gun. Your gun is going to give you a bolt head here and a bolt head here. Use those. Don't think you're going to hold the gun by the handle and start wrenching on this stuff. You'll actually break your gun, okay? If you were to take this and start using a wrench just holding this handle, Kind of like this type of deal here. Hang on, let me get this set on here. So if I were to take this and just keep wrenching this and holding the handle as I'm doing this and start fighting that, I will crack stuff that's in there. They give you that bolt head right there for a reason. Use it. So take your other adjustable wrench and put it right on there like that. Tighten it up. And then you can now tighten this top one up and get it set but you want to be able to put the pressure working against each other so that you're not actually damaging that gun that's the key okay you don't want to damage the gun so that's in there just like that that does that that's what we're after sweet simple easy sealed locked and done there's our quick release coupler on there now we do the same thing on the bottom one we're going to apply our tape now, if you've already done this before and you're taking them out, because this tape will go bad over time, especially on pressure washers, you're going to have to replace it every, you know, for me, I replace it every two months or three months on all my fittings because they just go bad. Um, but if that's, you know, but I'm also changing oil in my machine every single, every, every month. So, um, you know, I'm using it a lot. With these, if you are already got tape on there and you're going to be taking it apart and retaping it, make sure you get all that crap off of there. Also, make sure you get any of that tape that's left on the inside of these threads out of there so they don't go get jammed up inside your gun. So you take this, and again, we are going to roll it righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Okay, so I set it on the tape like that, right there, on the tape on the fitting and I am going righty tighty lefty loosey just like I would be turning this into the gun that way it's not going to loosen the tape when it does we're going to do a few wraps around that like that collar good then we're going to snap that right off and then we're going to stick this right into the gun make sure it's all nice and flat like so same deal no different we're going to hold that gun we're going to grab our wrenches. That's what I like about adjustable wrenches for this. They're, you know, they just work simple for this kind of stuff. 
and we're going to just screw it right in and you can see that yes yes and we now have that's how we just built this gun which is now set so that gun is ready to go and uh, while we're at it we can also do the hose on there, I think the hose fitting it should be set up. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll look, but I did just buy. Uh, so actually, we'll put our soap cannon together for that. So to show you how this works. So here's the soap cannon. Right here, it's an MTM soap cannon. This is also an MTM gun. What model? This is an MTM SG28 gun. I actually got the gun and the cannon. And I got this whole kit. Is one whole kit, this soap cannon, which is incredible. Um, amazing reviews, ratings. This thing is like top level soap cannon. And the gun, everything you're seeing here, I got this whole entire set, uh, one whole kit on Amazon for a little over 100 bucks, which is nice because uh, for my pressure washing company, I'll pay 80 bucks for a gun itself. So, and this is a very good quality gun, very nice, very, very good quality gun. So you're getting the whole sh whole ball of wax here. But this soap cannon sets up like this. Oh, we got to put that in there too. That's what we got to do. Still one more fitting. We got one more fitting to put in there. Now, while we're doing this, um, when it comes to this soap cannon, I'll tell you a little bit about that as well too. Because like I said, we got this whole kit uh, here. We got the soap cannon top. We got the fittings. All of these fittings came with this soap cannon. They were all part of it. So everything you need. The tape came with it. The bottle came with it, a cap for the bottle, so if you got some left over and you just want to put it in your garage, you can put it right in your garage. So you got the whole setup here, and it also did come with an extra. Now these fittings I bought separately. I bought these on purpose because of the, the setup of my machine. I want to be able to use different size to slow down the water pressure uh, out and give me more gallons per minute flow. I'll talk about that in another video here when we do that stuff. but. They give you a 1.125 orifice, or 1.25 orifice, orifice, and they give you a 1.1 orifice, and they give you an extra mesh filter, stainless steel mesh filter. That this is what helps make that soap foam really good. So I already swapped it out and put the uh, 1.1 in there because I'm just using a uh, for this for this. I'm just using going to use an electric. Um, it's going to be a dedicated car wash system. It's just a little uh, Ryobi uh, 1.2 gallon per minute electric one. I'll, again, I got a review coming on that as well too for you. But um, so I have that set up. Sorry, have that orf orifice in there. That orifice that you're going to put in is right inside of there. Just take a flathead screwdriver, screw it out, put it in. For low pressure, I'm running the 1.1. It's going to give me the most foam action over the uh, 1.125. So I have that set up already. Now we need to put one more fitting on here to be able to attach it to the gun. So we're going to do this the same exact way we just did. I'm going to rip that piece of tape off there just because I got it gunked up. So being left-handed, I like to put it in this hand. We're going to put that tape right on that fitting, no different. We're going to roll it around a few times. And again, don't be picky on how many times. Just make sure it's on there good and coated and you did more than three. If you do that, you're going to be in good shape. There it is right there. Snap that off. Make sure it's all nice and flat. You don't want to leave those little hairs and stuff sticking up on there. Just mat those down so they roll into the threads nice and smooth like that. So we're going to take that and uh, this is going to now go into here. And even on this, again, they give you two flat spots for your wrench so that you're not just holding on to this and breaking things off of it. Use those. That's what they're there for. So we're going to take this wrench here and we're going to stick it on this, adjust, on this flat spot right there for support. Got it right here in my lap. I'm going to hook onto this and we're going to just tighten these on. Okay, nothing to overthink. It's not complicated. Get it on there good and tightened up. And that's it. So now we have that set right there. That is done. This is a soap cannon part right here. Your adjustable right here. You have click settings right here. And I'm not quite sure what those do yet. That's a fan. What is I'm not sure what those two clicks are that are on here. I'll have to look at that actually. I know what this is. This is for my fan control, my spray control right there. And this is the amount of pressure we got out of here for your foaming action. So fully adjustable and everything. And like I said, I'm not quite sure what these two. Oh, that's for uh, horizontal or vertical, I'll bet you. Right? Yeah. 
so you can see it so horizontal or vertical for the fan spray direction so what that is put your hose on the end and stick this in the jug full of soap screws right in and then this goes on the gun which is going to go on your pressure washer there is your soap can and setup like i said all right sorry battery died on there but anyway that is that setup i will have a link down below for this but this system is amazing like i said it's, it's ultra high quality i know i haven't used it yet and i will you'll see it coming up but uh i, I mean this is based on research and everything like that but you are talking a very high quality uh foam cannon and a very high quality gun for you're basically getting this for free just to buy this alone is 90 something bucks and to buy something like this alone you're looking at probably 60 bucks so you're getting a tremendous savings by buying Buying them together as that full kit and okay so there we have the gun and we have the um, the foam cannon made by MTM okay and uh, this is a PT 22 or something what do they call this thing I don't even know uh, PF 22 this is the PF 22 model you can see on there and uh, like I said I got it as a kit I'll have a link down below for it and it comes with the MTM SG 28 gun set up but we're gonna go ahead and fire this dude up and it's also first time using this uh, little mini pressure washer like I said we'll see uh, this is the soap I'm gonna try right here I also am using I don't have it here yet but I did buy some uh, chemical guys mr. pink but uh, this is that Ryobi Little dude right here, little 1.2 gallon per minute, 1800 PSI. The PSI doesn't mean nothing to me. I'm gonna tone this down to about 1100 PSI uh, by switching out these inserts, okay? I went to a different orifice size. This is a 2.5 gallon per minute orifice size where they give you, on this one, these two come with it. You get a little mini turbo nozzle. And you get this 15 degree, but it is a smaller, what's it say on here, it says, uh, this is a 15017, so this is a 17, 1.7 orifice size for 1.7 gallon. That's how they're getting the 1800 gallon or 1800 PSI is by that smaller hole size. If you look at these, if I put them next to each other, you can see the hole in the center on the white one and the green one are bigger than the orange one. So what this is going to do is give me 1800 PSI and 1.2 gallons per minute, okay? Um, I want to be less than that for washing cars and this is going to be a dedicated car washing kit. So by jumping that up to a 2.5 gallon per minute, which I will put links to this stuff below. And uh, does it say on here? Do they say? Yeah, right there. This is a, a 40 size. Okay, 40 degree and this is a 2 point or 25, a 2.5. That other one that came with it is a 17. That's the diameter of the orifice inside of there. And given that fact, this is gonna let less pressure but more water flow through. So I'm gonna take me down to about 1100 PSI and about 1 1.6 gallons per minute. So I'm gonna get a little more flow of water and a little less pressure is what I'm gonna get with these setups. These are what I'm gonna use for rinsing the cars off and stuff. So this is kind of my whole kit set up right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use my Uber Flex hose that I have set up right here, okay? I have a few quick releases on there. I put a quick release on this end for the gun right here it came with the actual gun when i bought that kit it came with that perfect uh quick release on there already so it was really nice i didn't have to mess with that this is the original hose you can see the difference now this is a 20 foot that's a 50 foot okay big difference 20 foot 50 foot hose so big difference it'll let me reach around without having to move this thing real far so we're not using that there's the original gun it comes with for that pressure washer. I'll do a review on that pressure washer later on after I get some time behind it because it actually comes with this little soap blaster. It's not a soap cannon, but a little soap sprayer, which is still nice because it lets you spray soap into wheel wells and things like that, which is hard to do, um, you know, when you're bucket washing. So it's a nice, nice addition they give you. But today, it's all about that dude right there that we're going to get hooked up and get set up on this and uh, see what we can make happen with it. So let me get it set up. What we're going to hit here is the back side of my pressure washing trailer. Like I said, I do pressure washing for a living. And this is my trailer. This side is the shaded side. Okay, sun's not hitting over here. So we are going to set you up on a tripod like right here. And we're gonna hit that with that foam cannon and see how that thing works and what it does here. So that's the game plan. Let me get it all set up. We'll be right back. All right, 
we just put about that much soap in there as you can see not a whole lot just a little bit of soap in the bottom of that and um, I don't know how much that is just barely coating the bottom we're gonna fill about halfway up with water I don't have the pressure washer turned on so it's just like a water hose right now again we're just doing a test here I didn't read directions I didn't look at anything I'm just kind of eyeballing and figuring out what I want to do here so we're gonna go about yay far about like that kind of thing guessing let's just take it up more just for the heck of it again I'm just testing so there we go so now we're gonna put that on that bottle on like so and then we are going to grab the rinse tip so I have it close by and handy so we can switch out when we rinse it I'm gonna go turn on a pressure washer Pressure washer is on. We got both the 25 and the 40 degree tip here, which I will test out when we're rinsing them. So we'll set them right there so they're easy. So you kind of, all right. Put this on and see what we got that happens here. Like I said, I have no idea. I'm going to crank that all the way up. Let's see what it does. And that's the foam cannon. And that's how that works right there. Sweet, simple, easy. And what, the beauty of that is that'll just dwell on there and that'll do the work for you. That's eating that dirt off, breaking everything down and taking it down with you. Now I just pop that off and then I put on my rinse nozzles. And what's nice about that bottle, I like the fact that it stands on its own, it stays standing, it doesn't always tip over. So which one's which here? 40 and then we got a 25. So if we look at the spray pattern of this, okay, with a 40, which I'm gonna let that dwell on there for a minute. 40 degree pattern. Twenty-five degree pattern. Forty degree pattern, and we got zeros and we got fifteens. But you can see the differences in there. So we're gonna let this dwell for a minute. I'm just gonna let it run while you watch that and see what it does on there. But look at how long that's taking, how well that's coating. And as it works its way down, it's drawing all the dirt and all the contaminants and everything with it and breaking it up. Now if I wanted to mitt wash this, which I probably would, I can go ahead and scrub that and you got so much lubrication it's almost like shaving cream that's on there so it makes life really easy as far as how to do that and set it up so uh, we're gonna let that dwell on there for a minute again let it just do the work as it sheets down and drags that stuff and then we're gonna rinse it but I'm gonna leave this camera run in real time you can fast forward it but you can see the meter down there I'm gonna let it run so you can see how long that stays on there that's that McGuire stuff that I just showed you and again, I'm not sure if it's a great soap or the best soap or what. Uh, Mr. Pink's the other one I got coming, so we'll see. But let's let it run for a minute. Okay, I lied. I'm not waiting any longer. We've been waiting for a while for that. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it. But you can see how well that works. And it's just letting that eat and dwell and just chew on that and sheet it off. Like I said, it's a great thing. Now let's rinse it out of there.
tip. This is the 25. And there you have it. That basically sums up our foam cannon by MTM. The, uh, what do they call it? The uh, PF-22 foam cannon and that MTM gun. So I call it a win-win. And like I said, this gun, as somebody who makes a living with a pressure washer, this gun, this trigger on here, very nice, very comfortable, very, very happy. So thanks for watching. Links will be down below for you for this stuff too.